Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another dungeon three days in a row We are gonna be doing halls of origination and today I actually have someone with me I've got Mike and he is Soramon and he's gonna be DPSing. It should be interesting just to see you know who does more damage Like a competition. All right, so um, we are in halls of origination. It is a pretty long dungeon There are a ton of bosses in this one haven't done a long one in a while, so it should be fun All right, so let's see how we do here it's actually good to have someone with me because I haven't done a dungeon with any of you guys in in so long. It's been a really long time. All right, so we are bound to get a piece of gear today. I imagine it's almost impossible for us not to get a piece of gear because there are like ten bosses in this place. Oh god, not the lag! What is going on? What is going on with this? I have no idea. The last two days, getting weird lag out of nowhere. Strange. But I'm, I'm actually still playing on my older computer because I haven't finished downloading it on my newer computer Because you know how big of a download WoW is But um, I probably should get that I'm gonna get it done before the next episode because I really don't know if it's a computer problem I don't think it should be. I mean, this is a very good computer anyway But we are going to tread on through this place and um, yeah, he looks to be destroying me really bad so far He is level 85 though probably has on um The Pindarian gear as well but yeah, we're probably gonna gain today, guys. We are only less than four bars now away from gaining, which is awesome. So we will soon be in the Pandarian realm or zones, whatever. We'll be there very soon, and I haven't been to any of them. I have not even gone there at all on any characters. I was saving it for the Let's Play. I thought it would be really fun, you know, to do it together. First, first boss should be like right around this corner. I think there's one more pack like right before it. Yeah, there he is. This one's kind of cool. I mean, after he does like this weird thing and someone has to go down and hit the switch. Um, normal In Heroic, everyone has to go hit the switch except for one person, I think. So it's much easier in this one. I think it's 16,000. It's ridiculous. Alright, so we've got about 10,000. He's got 25,000. Well, at least, you know, the dodge is going to go quick because I've got one of you guys with me doing so much damage to the bosses. Everything's going to go down super fast. Which is good. But yeah, I am gonna try to get some gear today. I really need to get some badly, like like terribly badly. All right, well, everyone looks to have jumped off their sides, right? Yeah. All right, so I'll just be patient and wait for the comeback, for everyone to come back. Cause just one person needs to jump off each side and I probably didn't need to jump off if everyone already jumped off. See the lever right there? You know, I want to get the second jump. I want to be the one to jump, because I wasn't ready that time. Everyone jumped off so quick in preparation. Alright, I am going to pull the lever this time. Really wanted to. Alright, there we go. So let me just run back up here. This is like the most annoying thing you can do. Be the person that pulls the lever. Alright, I'm almost back. It is such a long run up here. And they're dead. Oh, no, not for me. I saw mail, I got really excited, and yeah, I, I, it just wasn't good. Alright, so there, don't worry guys, there's like a hundred bosses left. Where is Poison Drop anyway? Oh, fighting the snakes that were attacking me. Okay, so yeah, this is actually like multiple like floors to this place, if you look at it, like right there and there, where there's four bosses right at the end. So yeah, I didn't get anything. I am on the next boss. I can already feel it happening. Alright, so let's go. Let's do this. I can't believe we're so close to 85. We finally made it here. Finally. I'm sure 90 is going to take like forever. Because you know those last levels? They're, they're torturous every time, every expansion. They take about 100 times longer. Like right now, if you look at my experience, um... I need to get up to 4.5 million for this level. The next level is probably going to be like 20 million or something like that. I, I'm just guessing, but it's probably going to be something like that, I imagine. Alright, so I think there's like a little elevator or something. In, not an elevator, but like a portal thing that teleports you. We'll head right, and then there's that weird scary boss this way. He's, got like, he's like a skeleton flying. He doesn't fly, does, does he fly? I don't know. He's pretty scary looking, that's all I remember. 
All right, so there's all kinds of annoying bugs that kind of like stun you. The tank, as you run in here. Venomous skitterer, skitterer. Oh, see, oh, I thought I only got 1,000 experience. I got a little upset, but you know, we're still getting our 16,000. We're gonna have no problem at all gaining today, I hope. I'll be sad if we're like, we're like a half a bar away after the dungeon and don't quite make it. We've, we've gotta make it, guys. We've gotta make it so we can head to the new zones. Finally. All right, so I'll slow down. Don't wanna accidentally go in front of someone because those things kind of just jump out of the ground. And then I would probably die. I'm just a hunter. All right, we'll kill this venomous skitterer. It's really annoying to say that word, skitterer. All right, we'll get the magical skeleton dude. Oh, you can even ride the camels over here, I'm pretty sure. All right, so I'm not on rested anymore. It, it is gone. We're getting 8,000 to kill now, but we're only two and a half bars. And we're just barely gotten into this place. But there really isn't that much trash in this place compared to some of the dungeons. There's just so many bosses here. Alright, we're going outside the place now. Where the sand is. We're in like, you know, we're in the desert. We're in, you know, where we've been questing this whole time. Tomb of the Earth Earth Ranger. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta pick off these couple guys over here and get on that camel. I might do that. And then at the top is a very awesome looking boss. He looks like the dude from ICC, I'm pretty sure. The first boss in ICC. Gamble right over there. I think there's more mobs though. Okay, someone ordered crap thirst. And here they are on the sides. And yeah, that is, I think it looks, it's the same model, I think, as the guy from ICC, the first boss. I'm pretty sure it is. He looks awfully familiar to me. He's got like four skeleton skull faces and he's got an awesome axe. Dude is, a, is freaking cool looking. It really is. All right, I am ready for the boss. Aren't they dead? Yeah, they're dead. And an extremely scary voice. Very, very scary. I'm pretty sure he just does a thing. Is there a, a way to avoid that? I don't think so. Um, he does a move where he goes under the ground, I think, and then a bunch of like mobs come out. Something like that. This is a pretty straightforward fight, though. And I think most of the ones here are. I don't think there's anything too complicated. I think they're all pretty simple. And he's almost dead anyway. So no, he doesn't go under the ground, does he? Yeah, he's doing something weird. Here's the bugs. All right, so yeah, there's just a bunch of ads for us to kill right now, and then he will pop back up and we'll finish him off. And we're just getting closer to 80. I'm pretty excited. And um, someone did point out something to me. I just got a message from um, one of you guys, and um, they mentioned I might be able to do dungeons with you guys when I hit 85. I'm not sure what the level requirements are, but we're gonna find out really soon. At least some of the dungeons, maybe when I hit like 86 or 87. People 90 probably can join in. I didn't look at this yet, but I'm pretty sure it is um, DPS, chest plate. Am I right? Yeah, it is. I've gotten this like a lot of times, so I, you know, I kind of remembered that one. Breastplate of the Risen Land. It's a cool name. All right, so that boss is down. We've killed two. Nothing for us yet, but I'm sure that we will get something. Oh yeah, he just said, "Hey, it looks like Lord Marogar." I could not remember his name. I just said the ICC guy. Because, you know, I, my, my memory with names is not good at all, really. Alright, so we got a pack here. Oh, yeah, there's some kind of interesting rooms in this place. I totally forgot. Like, um, where all these dudes keep respawning. Actually, it's kind of annoying, if anything. You have to kill, like, these little mini-bosses. We're almost that part. Try to take these dudes down as quick as possible. Trying to make my damage go a little higher. It's, you know, not, not its best. The Temple Fire Shaper. The music here is pretty weird. I mean, it's kind of hard to hear because the noise of like my fighting is so much louder. But it's pretty like, I don't know, it's like puts me in like a trance or something. All right, so we're doing pretty good. We obviously have a good group, so this is probably gonna be a fast run compared to usual. This is one of the longer dungeons at this level. 
Because a lot of the dungeons are, are pretty short around this level for some reason. This is the longest one. Alright, so we're just going to head through here. This is where all like, the little mini-bosses are. There's like one of every like elemental type, I think. Something like that. And we just kind of have to stay close together as a team. Right. Let's go. Just need to input the final I don't know what's with dwarfs and opening door. giant some like bad. Egyptian doors, but they do it all the uh, time for some the reason. Room be right this. All right, let's do this. The Vault of Lights. Oh, the first time I ever came in here, I was concerned that I would fall this through the floor the over here, which would be awesome. They should add that. They should change that. In Heroic, it should make it so you fall through the floor if you accidentally step there. That would be awesome. But no, it's it's not like that. I wish it was. Actually assumed that it probably was the first time I ever came in here. But that was quite a while ago. Alright, the Water Warden. I think he just does some kind of bubble move or something. From what I remember. I don't think anything too special. Oh god, I'm getting a little bit of lag again. I don't know. It's gonna drive me crazy. I don't know what is causing this stuff. The Water Warden, I need to get some damage off on you, bro. Oh my god. You can see, like, they're cool, like, getting ready to shoot a spell. Alright, see, now the things I was probably supposed to avoid, I may have even stepped in. I'm, I'm not really sure. Anyways, he's dead. Because, yeah, I don't want to step in those. I don't know if any spawned under me during the little, about, little amount of lag, but probably not. Who knows? So we got to go across there, every single side here. And in Heroic, it's an achievement if you do this room, like, really quick, from what I remember. Which isn't too bad. I, don't, I think it was a pretty easy achievement. Alright, let me try to get some damage off. Okay, everything's already... Everyone killed them all already. They die so fast. This one is the Earth Warden. Actually, a pack, like, right there. They die in, like, one hit. That's why I couldn't get any extra damage off. They're very easy. Alright, let's take down the Earth Warden. Should be easy. These are very simple. I think the Rock Wave... If I, you have to avoid that or not, I didn't have to. <laughs> didn't come at me. But yeah, they're extremely simple. He's about to die. Kill shot. There we go. And he is dead before he could do another Earth Wave or Rock Wave, whatever it was called. Yeah, we should do all the bosses because I, I need the gear. Like, badly. Really bad. I, I could use any piece of gear would make me very happy. Even though we hit 85... I know all the gear is gonna be replaced, but still, I, I'm still. It still makes me happy when I see a brand new piece of gear in my inventory to put on. Every single time. Doesn't matter how small of an improvement it is. Yeah, I think it's gonna be close if we actually gain or not. We're, we still got two bars, but there were no quests here, right? There were none. I did not see any. It'd be ridiculous if I somehow missed the quest, but I didn't see anything when I came in. All right, so we will take out this stone trog brute right here. And now we are on to the Air Warden. I think this one has a tornado, I want to say. Pretty sure. And that's the only thing you need to avoid. Yeah, like that. That should be pretty easy to avoid. I, I would imagine so, at least. Hard. I think it throws you into the air. Drop some air elementals for me. My loot. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Just some gold. I see how it is. I see how it is. Is this one fire? Yeah. Flame Warden. So the last one is right there. And then a boss is going to kind of like spawn over here. God, I'm so far behind. Need to catch up. It's too far away. All right, I got it from here. Luckily, I'm ranged. No, I love Warrior, though, because you get to... If you're ever a little bit behind, you just charge right in there and you're back with the group. Which is always fun. All right, Flame Warden, time for you to burn. All right, what? Oh, God. Is this seriously going to do this again to me? It's, it's Okay, there we go. I don't know what it is, guys. This has never happened throughout the whole Let's Play. And then last episode and this episode, I've got a little bit of lag while fighting in the dungeon for some reason. Strange. So right now, we're supposed to stay together as a group. Because he does, like, this damage thing to everybody. That's it. You've done it. And it hurts like half our health. So I was gonna stick with every... Okay, do we run over... Okay, we'll run this way. Right at the boss. 
But usually people stick in a group over here because he's going to do a thing to us that does like half damage. And then the healer usually wants to heal everyone right next to each other. That dude right there, that is the boss. And he's massive. Massive! I wouldn't want to fight him, but I have to. See right here, we're all half dead. Everyone was really like raring to go running towards him. I was ready to, you know, get healed. Alright, this boss is Arafet. An Anrafet. Nice, nice pronunciation by me. Alright, let's take him down. We can do this quickly. And he does some things on the ground you gotta avoid. Other than that, it is very easy from what I remember. Now, I'm remembering most of these fights pretty good. It's been a long time. Like, you don't want to stand in that thing. But other than that, I don't, like, yeah. Get out of the way of that. He can kill you pretty quick. 10,000 per, like, half second, it seemed like, right there. I only have, like, 70,000. Three and a half seconds in there, that's, like, death. All right, we got him. Come on, something for me this time. I knew it wasn't for me. Soft shadows. Do I look like I wear soft shadow gear? I don't wear that. Not for me. I want it. I rolled 99. That's a beast roll right there. Give me my 12 gold. Sell that. How much gold do I have anyway? I've got 7,100. That's not too bad. We'll have to see what we're going to spend it on. I'm not sure. Usually, I'm really persuaded by the pets at the auction house. I'm like, oh, I don't have that one. Got to buy that. Then I have no money. Here we go. Now this should only take a I don't think there's any quests here. I don't think so. If I missed one, I'm pissed because I, I really didn't see anything at the beginning. I always look. That's the first thing I check when I get into a dungeon is like, where are the quests? Which is all right. We're two bars from gaining. So damn close. If we don't finish it, guys, I'm actually just going to finish it off camera because it's probably going to take me like two quests to finish. Yeah, they don't have a quest. I don't have a quest. Nobody's got a quest for this place. It's time to go, right? We waiting on someone? All right, so we have to go... Where do we go here? <laughs> I think we have... Do we have to hit this thing? Is that what it is? And it goes up. It's an ele it is an elevator, right? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Saruman. Oh, man. He is... Oh, God. He's gone. <laughs> we left at the elevator on the next run. <gasps> oh, man. So that actually happened to me once in uh, Throne of Tides. Well, actually, when it... Are you going to come off, Resto? Crazy? No. Um, but yeah, it happened to me. Oh, God. He's just going for it. Tank, not looking behind himself. He's just running for the mob. So we better go help. I don't know. He's not. He's very cautious. <laughs> Sometimes you just see tanks just run in. They don't really look behind themselves. And, you know, the healer's a little bit behind. Which is usually what causes a lot of deaths. All right. He's going. All right. Everyone's here now. That's good. But yeah, I'm throwing a tides that happened to me. And I was like, oh, I didn't jump. You know, then I'm stuck down there. Everyone's going up. All right, we need to kill this spatial an anomaly. It's very scary looking. You take a look at it. Definitely looks intense. It's very large. So basically, there's four bosses up here, and they all have like two packs of mobs in front of them, like this. Which probably isn't going to be enough to make me gain. I'm sad. I thought I was going to gain. Plus, I'm not unrested anymore. Just rooting it for me. Elemental goo. But yeah, the boss is right there, lady. Boss lady. All right, let me throw down a trap. Now, our damage is a little over 10,000. Isn't too bad. I mean, it's better than everyone else, of course, for, you know, Saruman has 21,000, which is it's embarrassing me. Let me get out of that. Oh, it's following me. Don't follow me, please. So, um, there's four bosses in. I don't remember which ones are which, so we'll see as we go, because I have no idea. I know all the fights. I'm just not sure which fight is which. I'm pretty sure they're all just big people like this. I don't know if this is the one that splits into three. It could be. And it also might not be. Find out in one second. Gaze to the heavens. Oh, I think on this one we need to look away from her when she does some kind of gaze move. Probably, I came up with that after she said gaze into the heavens. So, yeah, supernova. So, like, look away now. Because it does something to you that makes you, like, run around in circles for a second. I'm very, I'm going to back up a little bit, a little bit close here. 
but yeah, the, um, I'm pretty sure this fight is just that. Oh, nope, it's the one where it's three, and I'm not sure which one's supposed to go first. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm going for the Celestial Call, but it seems like Astral Rain might have been the right decision, but I'm not really sure. They're both about half dead. I don't know. I know that usually there is a set one that everyone always goes for, and don't remember it anymore, but Celestial Call is dead first. And now she'll go back into this, and then the other two will appear, and then we'll kill one of those. It doesn't actually matter which one it is, but there used to be, like, one that everyone always went for. I think the confusion is much more now that we're on a different expansion. So let me just get ready to look away, and bam. There we go. Don't come after... Ow. Ow, don't... Don't do that. Fan death. She actually has a lot of health. This fight has been going on for quite a while compared to what I expected. Is her damage going up? Eh, still around 10,000. Does she still split another time? Or is that only heroic? No, here we go. So we'll go for Astral Rain since everyone seemed to be going for Astral Rain last time. From the looks of it. All right. But yeah, I was right about which one this was because I wasn't sure at first. All right, Vial of Skies, all that is left, but she should turn back to herself, and she's almost dead and almost out of mana. She's, she's running low. Doesn't have too much left here. All right, oh, focus fire. Another supernova. What a long fight. All right, avoid that. Oh, no. Slight amount of lag there, but I think we're good. At least it didn't happen during the supernova. Could have been much worse. Oh my god, this is hating me so much. I don't know what's going on. Well, she's dead. Did she drop something for me? <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. All right, we still got three more bosses, guys. I can still get something, I hope. I can't believe we've gotten nothing so far. We fought a bunch of bosses. Three left. Will we get anything? What's our item level at? It's 310 with um, equipped and 314 with, you know, whatever the hell's in my inventory right now. Guess I have something a little better than what I have on, but just isn't really for me. All right, so which boss is next? We going right this way? Yeah. All right, let's do it. And if you look at the damage, the mage is in last. Then the paladin. Well, actually, no, the mage isn't technically in last, but they're last in damage, but not DPS. And then the paladin, which is, um, I'm assuming it's the tank, right? Yep. And then me and Saruman is owning everyone. Alright, is everyone running towards different ones? Because, like, I'm lagging, and it looked like everyone was running towards something. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we need to kill this living vine first. I think it heals or something. I'm, I'm trying to kill it. It's not... Oh, so, no, someone did run in, at each one. I couldn't... From the lag, it was hard to tell. So yeah, I need to fix whatever the hell is doing this. I know I saw someone in the comments said they were having a lag issue too. Is anyone else having a lag issue on WoW? Because it really would couldn't be the computer. I don't know. This is a very, very good computer. It shouldn't have any problem. And my internet has been great. I actually updated the speed on it. So, so I don't know. I don't know what would cause it. So I'm kind of interested. All right, so we took everything out at the same time, although I pretty much missed it. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. Uh, loot for me. I just ran right through that poison or sand or whatever the hell it is. It's very hot sand burned my feet. So this dude, no idea what his move is. We'll find out in a second. Oh, you destroyed the plants. Okay, that's what it is. Because they grow into these big poisonous plants or something like that. And since I'm ranged, it's going to be extremely easy for me to kill these. It's so much harder if you're melee. So I'll just look around, make sure there's no plants around here. There's one. Okay, they got it already. Or they grow into one. Yep, it turned into an ad. Alright, I'll try to take this one down. And he is dead. Claw oh, come on! You're driving me crazy. I really need something badly. Okay, I'm. You know what, guys? The last boss. That's gotta be it. I'm thinking. Maybe the final one, it's got to mean something to me. 
So I'm gonna hope for it. There's two bosses to go. Next one, no way it's gonna drop anything. Last boss, though. I think the last boss drops two things instead. So I have, you know, twice as high of a chance. But as you can tell, this is actually a really long dungeon. There are a ton of bosses here. You'd expect going in to get all kinds of gear, but clearly that is... It is, it is not my day today, guys. It is not my day. Alright, so yeah, we have one more boss over here in the Seat of Destruction and the Seat of Radiance over there. This one, I remember, I think. He opens these portals. Actually, I've remembered them all. I just didn't know until they actually started. But he opens, like, these portals that mobs come out. I, I don't remember. Yeah, do something. We'll see when we get there again. Alright, let's do this. And the last one, um, I remember that. Just saw them being fire or something. We'll see. Alright, let me use my um, multi-shot. Seems to be kind of a lot of mobs here. Throw down a trap. Throw it down right there. I'm gonna get a little further away. I mean, I see something on the ground that looks suspicious. Suspicious, you know, purple circle right there. Don't want to stand near that. It might hurt me if I step. Will it? I'm, I'm gonna check. That hurt? Does it hurt me? Yeah, it does. Okay, just checking. Just checking, guys. You know, don't don't think that I accidentally stepped in that. I stepped in that on purpose. <laughs> I just wanted to know for sure. All right, setesh, setesh. How do you say that? All right, let's do it, guys. We have got to kill this. Oh, he's gonna run over there and try to open the portal thing. That's what it is. I think we just need to take him down really quick. I don't think it matters too much. I guess they're gonna summon these ads. But if we take down Setish like super fast, I'm pretty sure. Let me get away from that thing. I'm not gonna mess around on the boss fight. That looks just like the thing that I stepped on before, except it's a hundred times the size. And you need to also not be near these things, like the thing that I'm on top of. Oh god, there's so much stuff. All right, I'm safe now. I know when I was a melee person, I always thought it'd be easier as range, but there's so much stuff that gets in your way as range that you have to avoid too. How do I get that? Give me that imbued crystal. Who else can greet on it? Oh, uh, damn it. Usually I win them. Last time I did. And once again, the chest is not for me. Alright, final boss. This is it. I'm gonna... It's gonna drop two things for me. Probably two trinkets. I'm just, I'm just kidding. It can't drop two trinkets. But maybe I'll get something awesome. I'm hoping for a trinket and a weapon. Although they probably don't drop those things. They might drop a trinket. Okay, we can do this. I am praying... Praying for anything, really. And it is awesome to have one of you guys with me in the dungeon. So, um, when I sign on, guys, like right when I sign on, that's probably the best chance of messaging me and asking if I'm gonna do a dungeon. Because usually after I sign on, you know, I like queue right away. So, if you can get me before I queue, that would be great. And I'd be glad to have anyone with me as long as you can queue for the dungeon. The only thing I do is I make sure that I don't do the same dungeons multiple times because it's for a let's play and I would hate to do, you know, this like four times or something like that. So I don't queue randomly for these dungeons, I pick specifically. So I do get a little bit less experience because I don't, you know, queue randomly. The random queue, what's it worth? Checking right now. Alright, these little dudes. So I miss out on 140,000 experience, which is kind of a lot, but, you know, I'd rather just not do the same dungeon over and over again. I feel like when you queue randomly, you get the same one a lot. So many little tiny dudes. Let me try to get them with the multi-shot here. Alright, they are dead. I actually got a decent chunk of experience in that pole. Under a bar to go. It's exactly what I said, too. I said we're going to be like half a bar when we finished. Maybe. Well, I, was, I really didn't think we were. I really thought we'd gain. But anyways... We need to fight Raj. Okay, so he is definitely going to drop something for me. I've got to avoid that tornado. And you can just tell he, you know, he's a hunter at heart somehow. He's got to have hunter gear. He's probably eating some hunters. He's a big dude. Oh, God. That was scary. Inferno leap. And they just went flying across like way over my head. But yeah, I'm going to kill him as quick as possible. Because I am expecting gear. Any second. He's almost dead. Alright. Finish him off. Kill shot. And come on. Something for me. Loot him. Okay. Not for me. Come on. Fingers of light. That sounds like healing, doesn't it? 
It's, it's actually um, tanking. Damn it! I can't believe I got nothing. That's ridiculous. All right. Actually, I was no quest. I didn't hit 85, and I also didn't get anything at all. Wow. How many bosses was that? That was like seven bosses. Didn't get one piece of gear. I only got like three bars of experience. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.